Hello party people, what's up? Welcome, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Tori, thank you so much for being here today. I have just returned home from like a three week trip in Europe and I thought what better video to film than a haul of everything I got on my little European adventure. I am fighting jet lag right now and I really need to put all these things away so I thought it was the perfect time to show you. I feel like this might be a long one because I feel very chatty right now. So grab yourself a nice little bevy <laughs> and let's get into it. The first place I visited was Ireland. I went to Dublin and Galway with some of my best friends from college. And some of you are about to be really annoyed with the first purchases I made. The first purchases I made on this trip was Harry Styles merch. While we were in Dublin, he was playing Slane Castle and he did a like advanced merch stand in the city. During this trip, I also was planning on seeing him in London. So I kind of thought to myself, okay, like with the conversion of US dollars, it's stronger between US dollars and euros than it is from dollars to pounds. So I was like, doing mental gymnastics and I was like, I'm actually saving some money if I buy it here. So I bought two things. The first is this Love on Tour tote. How many more tote bags does a girl need? She does not need a lot. I just think the design is so cute and I also love this bag because it is like the square kind of tote. So it sits upright and keeps its shape when it's filled with stuff. I actually used this as my personal item when we were flying from Ireland to England and it worked out so perfectly. You cannot tell on camera, but this bag is actually huge. And then the last thing I got was a trucker hat. It just says, spinning out waiting for ya from Satellite. Your girl really just loves a trucker hat and my dogs actually ate up the trucker hat I bought at Coachella this year. So I was like, We've got to replace it obviously so i'm going to take way better care of this one and then while my friends and i were in dublin we also went to books upstairs which is the oldest independent bookstore in dublin and i got a couple of books the first book i have here is the happy couple by nisha dolan if you have watched any of my like book content you will know that i read her book exciting times last summer and i really didn't enjoy it i didn't really like the setting of hong kong in the story and i felt like she underutilized it i don't know it just rubbed me the wrong way the way the main character was talking about the setting of hong kong however in that book i really liked the main character's like introspective thoughts and i felt really aligned with some of the things she was thinking about when it came to like intimacy and like power dynamics within relationships. So I wanted to give Nisha Dolan another chance. So this is her latest release. I also wanted to buy something from an Irish author since I was in Ireland. And then the next book I got was Nora Ephron's I Feel Bad About My Neck and Other Thoughts on Being a Woman with an introduction by Dolly Alderton. I just found it really hard to find Nora Ephron books in America. I tried looking when I was in New York and in other cities this year, but I just couldn't find it. I don't really love the cover, if I'm gonna be honest, but I really do wanna read some of Nora Ephron's um, short stories, essays, and just written work, because obviously I'm a huge fan of her movies. Um, so I picked this one up. This one, obviously not written by an Irish author, but I picked it up anyways. And then I obviously couldn't leave Dublin or Ireland without getting something Guinness related. So when my friends and I were at the Guinness storehouse, I got this sweater, it's like the nice like light material and it feels like it would be perfect for like summer nights or just like nights in California because it doesn't get too cold here. The next country on my itinerary was England and we went to London and that's where I also met up with my mom. So that's been like my friend's trip kind of turned into like a mother daughter vacation. Honestly, when I was in London, I was really on the look for like a vintage gold watch and I went to Notting Hill to really like look for it. But I think I just like didn't go on a good day or something because a lot of the stalls that were popping up on the street were not actually like vintage or old or used items. A lot of the things they were selling were like drop shipped women's clothing or like the kind of usual touristy garb that you see. So I kind of was disappointed. And then I went to this shop called The Blue Door, which I did not know when I went there was a TikTok viral sensation. Um, but I do wish I knew that earlier because I found out after the fact when I looked up this shop on TikTok that I overpaid for this jacket that I'm about to show you. And normally I would be like so cool with like people, you know, you know, capitalizing off their virality and like making that money. But I think I was overcharged to the point where I feel scammed and like, 
I don't know. I just don't feel as great about this purchase as I like should be, but it is what it is. I took it home and I like it. The piece in question is this jacket. How stunning is it? It's like this quilted jacket with tires on it and then it's reversible. So on the inside, it has this really nice pink and white stripe. Um, I saw on TikTok that girlies were paying 50 to 60 pounds for jackets like this. I paid more than 60 pounds. Not gonna share out much more, but enough that I'm heartbroken. <laughs> and you know, I get it. I'm a tourist. You're gonna upcharge me a little bit, but like, why would you upcharge someone to the point where like, they don't wanna like mention your store? Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's so complicated. We were only in London for about two full days. The next place I bought something at was Daunt Books over in Marlebone. I got reward system by Jem Calder. And on the back it says, Julia has landed a fresh start as a chef at an up and coming city restaurant. Her ex-boyfriend Nick is flirting with sobriety and nobody else. Life should have started to take shape by now, but instead they're trying to make new versions of themselves, searching for a good answer to the question, what do you do? My friends and I were talking about it and we were like, it's so funny how in the UK and in Ireland, all of the blurbs on the back are so concise. In America, it's like the longest essay you've ever read. I'm really interested to read this. It also has a little blurb by Sally Rooney. We know I'm a Sally Rooney girly. So very excited to have this within my collection of books. And then while I was there, I bought another tote. Okay, but also this tote got a lot of use during my Europe trip. It's this forest green Dawn Books one. It has this illustration. And again, it's the kind that has the square shape and it holds its shape. So I felt like it was a good purchase. I almost forgot to mention that while we were in London, I also picked up this little two pack from Primark, which is just like these little rose chokers that you tie around your neck. I honestly really love these. And at first I was like, I already have one at home. Like, why am I buying this? But honestly, these were really cute. I feel like these really like, obviously this one is still in the package, but this pink one really spruced up all of the outfits that I brought because I tried to be as minimal of a packer as possible. And then when I got home, my dogs chewed up the one I had DIY'd. So it was a great purchase and two necklaces for £3.50. You can't beat that. The last thing that I actually purchased in London is something I purchased from a charity shop. My mom and I really like thrift shopping and we wish we had done more secondhand vintage and thrift shopping than we did in Europe. But while we were in London, we had some downtime. So we went to a lot of the charity shops near our hotel and I didn't find any clothes there, but I did find this amazing coffee table book. It's actually an exhibit book for the exhibit. You say you want a revolution records and rebels 1966 through 1970 from the Victoria and Albert museum. And the cover is not the cutest, I will say that, but I do remember seeing this exhibit when I was studying abroad in London in 2017, and I loved this exhibit so much. And if you're new here, I am a huge fan of the 1960s and the 1970s, so I really had to have this. Um, I bought it for £4.50, and it was wrapped in plastic, so none of this was exposed. It was a fresh book. The original price was 40 pounds. I basically got this for 90% off, which is incredible. It talks a lot about like the political elements of that time, but it also talks obviously a lot about like the Beatles and music and fashion. Like stunning. Very sentimental to me, obviously, for different reasons. And I really like it. Next, we're moving on to France. I guess I'll start with French skincare since that is something I was on the hunt for and I knew I specifically wanted to buy while I was in France. I also am someone who is trying really hard not to hoard a lot of stuff that expires. Obviously, I am someone who, who has a lot of physical media in her life, okay? My records are literally behind me, but I don't really wanna be someone who hoards perfumes or skincare because those things do have an expiration date. So I was really picky with everything I was buying at the French pharmacy. And I know I've seen like people do hauls where they bring like a literal entire carry-on so they can stuff it, but that is not, that's not, that's not how I roll. Um, so my mom and I went to City Pharma. I will leave the address down below. And it's actually a really great shopping experience. It is super busy because a lot of tourists go there, but tourists go there for good reason. And that is because most of the staff speaks 
English. So when you're at the checkout stand, they already know, they basically already can tell if you're someone who needs like the VAT tax form and they'll help you fill it out. And they're all really kind about it. So that was super helpful. I think my mom and I spent like 125 euros. So I got maybe like 17 euros back with the VAT tax. And then on top of that, a lot of these brands are like 30 to 50% off what you would buy them here in the States. The first things I got were toothpaste. I had heard a lot about this brand Marvis because everyone says it's the most delicious toothpaste you'll ever taste. Can confirm, so I bought two of them. I also needed a new SPF, so I decided to try the La Roche Posay Fluid Invisible in SPF 50 plus. The next four products are ones that I've never tried before, and they're also ones that I know are all hyped up. Like they're in all the like cult French beauty lists that are online. The first one is the Avene Eau Thermal Thermal Spring Water. This feels so luxe. Why do I have spring water in a can? Apparently this is really good for hydrating really sensitive skin. And if you're someone that has a lot of acne or eczema breakouts, it's really nice to spray this on those areas. I've started spraying it on my face to kind of rehydrate my face after traveling. And it's been really nice so far. The next thing is the Nukes Multipurpose Dry Oil for face, body, and hair. I got it in the scent Neroli. I got the Neroli scent just because I felt like this would be a good layer for a lot of the perfumes and scents that I like to wear. The next thing I got is from Caudalie and it is their Vino Perfect Radiance Serum Complex Correcting. I have heard such great things about this and also Caudalie is literally 50% off the American price. Like I think on Sephora.com this little bottle is $80. In Paris, I got this for like 33. So really excited to experiment with this one, especially because I do have some like dark spots on my skin just from like acne scarring and stuff. So very excited to see how this goes. And then this last bit is one that you do have to ask for like when you're at the till and that is A313. It is a vitamin A retinol product that everyone raves about. They say it's really good for wrinkles and for acne. Like. I have just heard so much about this product. I'm really excited to start experimenting with it, spot testing with it in the near future. Um, but this one was one that everyone said you had to get. But that's my little French pharmacy haul. And then the other thing I got in France is a little designer item courtesy of my mother. It was my birthday while we were in Europe. I actually went to the Harry Styles concert on my birthday. And this was her little gift to me. It is a pair of sunglasses. And if you follow me on Instagram or if you've seen any of my vlogs on TikTok, you will have seen me wear these. I'm in the tortoise shell because my mom was like, you have so many black sunglasses, like spice it up a bit. And I was like, you're absolutely correct. I would definitely say though, if you are interested in these, in these frames they do come in like different sizes these are kind of like the bigger sizes for the big headed girls and we also bought these in france because of the vat tax and because like luxury goods are just cheaper in europe i think on the u.s website these go for like 510 us dollars but overseas they were like 430 euros which is like maybe like $450. And then on top of that, we get 20% off of the listed price back um, because of the VAT tax. You can get like a tax refund. So we saved quite a bit of money buying these in Europe. And so I'm so thankful that my mom got them for me. And I've been, I feel like I've been talking about wanting to own these ceiling glasses for like a year now, which is very hilarious. I also realized that I also have glasses very similar to these because Hedy Slimane is the current creative director at Celine and I bought a pair of sunglasses from when he was the creative director at Saint Laurent. I'm like, and I feel like this just goes to show that I've always loved a good goggle. Like these are the Saint Laurent ones. They're a little more Willy Wonka vibes, but nonetheless, I still love a good oval glass. Moving on, the last country that we visited was Italy. And while we were there, we went to three different cities in a week. We went to Florence, Venice, and Milan. Those are three cities I've never been to as well. While we were there though, we really like packed our schedule with a lot of excursions. So I didn't get to do too much shopping. Italy is really well known for their leather goods. So like you, everyone always talks about buying like a leather bag or leather shoes from Italy. I really didn't find a lot of great leather bags. And I think the one issue is that in my head, I really wanted to buy a nice leather bag that didn't look 
like it was trying to be a dupe for a luxury brand bag. However, a lot of them really are. A lot of them are trying to be like Gucci or Bottega Veneta. I was really on the hunt for like a glass cross pendant necklace, kind of similar to like the Byzantine inspired Chanel one that I had on my mood board, but I just couldn't find any like that. I felt like a lot of them were a lot more ornamental, kind of similar to like the style of like Lana Del Rey the Met Gala. I'm still on the lookout for that pendant, but nonetheless, I found some really great goodies. Um, so these next pieces are pieces that I bought in Venice and in the Milan area. So the first thing I bought from Venice was this ring. It was 10 euros and it's like this gorgeous glass ring because Venice is known for their glass. They have Murano Island nearby, which is known for all their glass blowing stuff. Unsure if this is like actual Murano glass, but nonetheless, I really just love the shape of this. It's an oxblood ring and it's kind of out of my like usual color palette, but I'm still excited to style it. I'm looking at it in the viewfinder and I love it. 10 euros. And the next thing I got in Venice was a little bracelet. It doesn't really scream Italy to me, but I will know that I got it in Italy and I'm too lazy to to fasten it but it's just like this really fun chain with and i feel like when i eventually find the like watch i'm looking for it'll create a nice lovely little stack so i'm excited i think this was maybe like 15 20 euros as well and then my mom and i did a like day excursion in venice and we went to murano which is the island where they make the glass and then we went to burano which is known for their like Verano lace. We went to this little store, the Dalla Olga. Look how cute this packaging is. And I got two things. The first thing I got was an embroidered handkerchief just because I felt like this would be really cute like in a frame. So it's just like very simple. It needs to definitely be ironed. The star of the show is this little V that's embroidered. Obviously V for Victoria, which is my government name, but also for Venice. So I thought this would just be something cute and nice to have. And then I also got a collar from them. I think this was probably like 18, 20 euros as well. Like, look at this detail. I just thought it was so beautiful. I feel like maybe with that jacket I got in London or just like with the right top, it could look cute. My nails are so long. I just feel like with the right top, this could look really cool. I don't know if this is giving RBG or if it's kind of giving like Ghani Girl Stockholm Copenhagen style, but I really think it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, my foot is falling asleep. I need to get off the floor. The last things I bought were from Bellagio. My mom and I only had a full one full day in Milan and we kind of didn't want to spend the day in Milan. We wanted to go to Lake Como and kind of see that area. And I picked up these two wooden coasters from a little shop on Bellagio. They're kind of mismatched, but I thought the pink kind of tied them together. I think they're beautiful. And they even have the stamp of the uh, store in the back. They also came wrapped and this is the name of the store. I also got a giant bag of Mau Elm candy <laughs> at Duty Free because this is the best candy ever. And if you want this in America, you would have to pay like $30 on Amazon. And I was like, no thanks that's it for my haul i hope you enjoyed um more fun fashion content coming soon i'm just kind of getting back into it um but i'm back and i'll see you for the next one bye